Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered what would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? Just how important is the planet's rotation to our lives? The Earth rotates at 1,670 kilometers per hour. If we stopped suddenly, the effects would be catastrophic. We and everything not deeply rooted to the planet would be thrown sideways. The oceans too will maintain momentum and within just one minute will spread nearly 28 kilometers inland in a giant tsunami. And with nothing to stop them, the winds would sweep around the earth, whipping it up into a giant storm. In short, our planet would not fare well. But what if we gradually and safely came to a standstill? What then? If Earth stopped rotating around its axis but continued to orbit the Sun, the length of a year would remain the same, but the length of a day would drag out to last one year. The Sun will now rise in the west and set in the east. We would be in darkness for nearly half a year, with some weeks of twilight either side before being exposed to the Sun for six months. This in itself is enough to upset the balance of the natural world. Even if life survived the bitter cold of darkness, it would then have to show accelerated growth during the six months of light. It is worth pointing out though that many organisms can deal with these conditions. Just look at the North and South Poles for examples. Life just finds a way. But probably the greatest effect of losing our rotation would be that the Earth would literally change shape. Due to centrifugal forces created as our planet spins, the equator bulges. Our Earth is 67 kilometers further around the equator than it is around the poles. Without these centrifugal forces, the Earth's bulge would recede. The oceans would migrate to the poles, flooding areas of Siberia and northern Canada first, and eventually submerging northern Spain and the southern half of Argentina. As the waters move, they will leave behind a vast equatorial mega-continent that wraps around the entire world. The world's oceanic waters will be cleaved into two isolated seas. So what are the chances of our world coming to a standstill? Well, the rotation of our Earth is actually slowing down right now. Not very much, but it is slowing down. Thanks to the tidal forces between the Earth and the Moon, our day gets longer by 1.4 milliseconds every 100 years. That might not sound like much, but it all adds up. In 140 million years, our days will be 25 hours long. And if you go back in time to the Devonian period 400 million years ago, the days were so short, there were approximately 400 days in a year. Thankfully, the planet's deceleration is so slow that the sun will die out long before we come to a standstill. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. How much space is actually out there? Before we go into this, just a warning. Our public liability insurance doesn't cover us for blown minds. OK, let's start small. At their closest, Venus and Earth are 25 million miles apart. At Earth Unplugged, we've been debating what would happen if you were swallowed by a whale. Well, it's impossible to say for sure. If it was a filter-feeding whale like those in the video, you might actually survive.